Hi, so I'm doing this review of the Cinema 4K app of the LG G4. So, as we see for the picture, we have a lot of manual control with the LG G4. It's great. It allows us to decide exactly what we want for the picture. It's a very easy and it works well. But for video, it doesn't work. If I have some if I do some setup and then I start filming, then it comes back in automatic. It is quite ugly and um uh, well, it's not ugly. It's quite good, but I would like to have more control on what's happening. And uh luckily some uh, folks made a great app which is called Cinema 4K and we will see right now how it perform and how does it works compared to the regular app. So this is the Cinema 4K app. As you see we have a few uh, settings here that we can change. The focus, when we change the focus it automatically zoom so we can see exactly on what we focus on. We have the white balance that we can adjust also, we cannot choose the color temperature, that's a bit a shame, but that's alright. We can choose the exposure compensation, but we cannot choose also the aperture or the shutter speed or the ISO. We have only a basic choice and it changes by itself. We see that uh, it stays mainly at the same aperture and change the shutter speed the shutter speed all right we can lock it or leave it in auto but one of the two main feature is the flat profile the fa flat gamma which normally will allow us to keep more detail in the highlight and in the shadows and we can also choose the bitrate we will record in up to 200 megabit per second we can film in 4K and have the stabilization. So let's see how it let's see uh, how it perform compared to the regular app and how the two images look. So here we are. Here we have the first image made with the camera, the stock app of the LG G4. And we can see that the white are really crushed here at uh, 100. So here we are really overexposed. And uh, in the black, we could get some more detail here in the blacks. So let's see how it looks with the Cinema 4K app. All right, so we have our flat profile here. We can see that we really have all our data in the visible spectrum so between the 0 and the 100 which means we have details everywhere so it is a real improvement then we have the regular profile picture of the cinema 4k app so that's the flat that's the regular and we see that even if it looks overexposed here we have white we still have the detail, but we we don't see them, but we can bring them back. And it's the same for the blacks here. The tree really looks uh, dark and uh, without any detail in it, but we have those details here. So which makes me think that between those two, there is not much difference. We have the data in both of them. Except that here we have a weird color cast. We can see that, uh, for instance, that's our tree here. He's uh, quite uh, regular. We have the same amount of black in the red, the yellow and the blue. But when we are in uh, the flat profile, we have uh, more... Uh, red and uh, more blue than the yellow so the yellow color appear more 
So in order to use it properly, we have to do a color grading. So it's a step more in using uh, those images. This one, on the other hand, uh, is uh, totally fine. But I noticed that uh, it do looks uh, underexposed or less, less exposed than the regular one. So that's coming from the stock app. So I didn't make any change. When we go to the the color graded shot, you see that the difference isn't huge, but we do have detail everywhere. And the colors uh, are less saturated and uh, more cinematic, I would say. So this is the before after. But I had to uh, play a bit with the color wheels to get a more natural color. Then we have the Cinema 4K uh, shot in a regular profile, not in a flat. So yeah, as you see, it's uh, really nice. We have detail everywhere. It's uh, looking good. So here we are.